Hey, what's going on guys? Ian from MaddenSchool.com. Today we're going over a way to get some really easy touchdowns once you get inside of the red zone. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been mentioning that once you get inside the red zone, it's really hard for you to move the ball. So this is a play you can go to that really destroys a lot of the common uh, defenses you're going to see inside of the red zone. Those are things like cover three, cover four, maybe occasionally cover two as well. So here I'm just uh, going against the standard cover three, but I'll show it to you as well against like a cover two and a cover four. Basically all we're seeing here is that this, I'll go to the replay and show it to you here. The slot receiver who is on, he's on like a wheel route kind of. He takes both the purple zone or the, or the light blue zone if they were in hard flats and the deep blue zone out to the sideline. And then our receiver just sneaks in underneath him. You can see here we have this really easy throw to make. This works anywhere from inside like the 15 yard line. I mean, it works anywhere on the field really, um, but it's really dangerous inside of the red zone. So Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. The formation has gun empty, tray stack, and the plays fade out. And then you can just see here, we're just making that quick pass every single time. Now, obviously if he's covered, we're going to throw, this is why we put our B or circle receiver on a drag route. So if he's covered or if our opponent really jumps that route, maybe he takes that middle linebacker with the M over his head here, and he just really darts over there right after we snap it, that's going to leave a really big opening in the middle of the defense. Usually we're going to get a better throw than that. Um, we usually get like five yards with the drag route. So I'll show that to you again here. Let's imagine that middle linebacker really just starts to the left. It'll be even more open. You can see there, it's usually good for like five to six yards. So this is cover three. Now I'm gonna to go to a cover four. Then I'll also show you cover two as well. A lot of people in the red zone like to really pack the box and then drop a bunch of guys into a zone. And this will pretty much beat all of those. So again, fade out. And we'll find, I mean, most people aren't gonna be in a dollar in near the goal line. But even so, I mean, a dollar is gonna be better coverage than really anything else you're gonna see. So the only adjustment here is uh, putting that B or circle receiver on a drag route. The same thing's gonna happen. You should see here, this guy's just gonna sneak in underneath. As long as there's nobody directly over him, it's just an easy catch and throw. Now again, if your opponent is user usering somebody to cover that X receiver, just go ahead and hit this guy underneath. A lot of times you'll get like four to six yards. I also want to show you if I go ahead and respot the ball real quick here. Like you can be pretty far out. You can be here like the 12 or 13 yard line. It's still going to work. Obviously passing gets harder as you get closer to the red zone. It just really opens up. Now it's not going to be there against a cover two or at least not as wide open but you will have some other options against cover two so let me just go ahead and respot the ball again up here in like six or seven yard line and then we'll go ahead and call a cover two uh, you can just take my word for it that the hard flats and cover three and cover four are going to work the same way they're obviously going to go to the sideline right away and so the same thing's going to work with the fade out play we'll just do like a standard tampa two so with the Tampa 2, your first read here is always going to be the X receiver, square on PlayStation 4. If he's covered there, you can either throw underneath to the B receiver. Or against the Tampa 2, if you see that the X receiver is covered, you can also throw a pass to your tight end. It gets really just absolutely wide open against cover 2. So that just comes down to, basically the read is, you look to see if your X or square receiver is open right away. If he's not then you look to either the B receiver, and if he's covered, then you know that your A receiver is going to be open a little bit deeper. Now you can actually, if you have, um, you can sometimes fit this ball into that. receiver. I'm gonna try to show it to you here. It doesn't happen all the time. You have to lead pass uh, inside. It's a bit dangerous uh, compared to the cover three and cover four beater, which are just absolutely wide open. You can usually lead pass inside against this cover two. And if you have a good receiver who can catch in traffic, he's usually going to come down with that. 
But against cover two, it's much easier just to either throw to the tight end coming up over the middle there or underneath to the B receiver. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's free tip. For more Madden 20 tips, visit MaddenSchool.com.